This video was made possible by Hover. Buy your domain for 10% off at the link in the description. If you want to take a flight leaving from or to anywhere in South Korea between 1.10 and 1.40 p.m. on November 14th, 2019, you are out of luck. Well, actually, the flight will still take off, it'll just be delayed. Okay, granted, this is a pretty niche problem. But the reason it is is because that's when the listening portion of the South Korean college scholastic ability test will take place. Now, this test is sort of like the American SAT except more difficult and higher stakes since you can ace your American SAT and still get rejected from NYU because you didn't spend enough time working at Sea Turtle Conservancies in Nepal. The CSAT plays an enormous, paramount role in deciding which university each individual gets into. South Korea is one of the best educated countries in the world to the point where some people say it's actually overeducated. There's an oversupply of highly skilled labor and an undersupply of less skilled labor. The reason that is is because a huge proportion of its population goes to university. 69% of South Koreans get at least a two-year degree compared to 59% in Canada, 49% in the UK, and 47% in the US. Remember, the US isn't dumb, it just does a good job of supplying its unskilled labor industries. Now, the CSAT is mostly graded on a curve, so difficulty doesn't really matter. What matters is how everybody else does. Unfortunately, everybody else does quite well since nearly everybody tries to go to university and they all want to go to one of these three universities considering that 50% of all CEOs in the country went to one of them. They're like the Korean Cambridge and Oxfords, minus all the tweed. Now, as an exercise, let's look at a section from the English Language Comprehension section since that's something that any half as interesting viewer should understand. Unless you're watching this on some freebooted Russian dubbed VK video page, in which case, shout out to you. Anyways, the contents, interpretations, and representations of the resource are selected according to the demands of the present. An imagined past provides resources for a heritage that is to be passed on to an imagined future. Excuse me, what? Which stroke victims decided that understanding this was a necessary prerequisite for university in South Korea? Well, it turns out, these ones. Every September, about 500 teachers from across the country are selected to write the exam and they all convene on a secret mountain location in the Gangwang province. These teachers are not allowed to have their phones. In fact, they're not allowed to have any way to communicate to the outside world as they write the test as they just can't have any chance of cheating. Meanwhile, students will be in their final months of preparation. Now, trying to pass this exam is a little like trying to become a millionaire. It's a lot easier if you're a billionaire. Most students, in addition to going to school, will go to hagwons, or cram schools, after normal school every evening to prepare for the CSAT, and the more expensive the hagwon, the better the results. While the exam is intended to be an equalizing force, to give students from all backgrounds an equal chance to attend university, the existence of these cram schools and other means of tutoring makes this not the case. Some of the tutors at these for-profit hagwons, especially the online ones, have become millionaires simply through teaching. I know that seems crazy, making a job out of creating educational videos for the internet, but some reach a level of celebrity status where they actually do paid TV endorsements. Then, of course, comes test day sometime in the middle of November. Almost all businesses, including the stock market, open an hour late at 10 a.m. to allow the rows to be uncongested in the time leading up to the exam start at 8.10 a.m. If students are late, they can call the police for a free escort to the exam location. The exam only takes place once a year and it's a requirement for going to university, so if they miss it, their whole life will literally be delayed by a year. At least it would give more time for Nepalese sea turtle conservation work, though. First up, starting at 8.40, is the 80-minute Korean language section. The students then have a short 20-minute break, then the 100-minute math section starting at 10.30. Once that's done, there's a 50-minute lunch break and then, at 1.10 p.m., the notoriously difficult English section starts. The first bit of this is the listening comprehension section. For the entire day, in order for the students to concentrate, almost all noisy activities, like construction work and military training, are cancelled. Large trucks are also banned from driving near testing sites. For the entirety of the 30-minute listening section, though, no planes will land or take off from South Korean airports. The planes waiting to take off will, of course, just sit there, while the planes waiting to land will just circle high above, where they're less noisy, until the listening section is done. Once the listening section is done, the flights will resume, but the test is far from done. It will last until 5.40 p.m., meaning that, all told, students will have completed almost 10 hours of testing. Now, if you want to become one of those millionaires teaching Korean kids how to understand and imagine past provides resources for a heritage that is to be passed on to an imagined future over the internet, the very first thing you'll need is a domain name. Hover is the place to get that. 
If you have an idea for what your future business could be, you'll want to get your domain now before it's gone, and with Hover, you can buy your domain in a matter of minutes, usually for quite a reasonable price. You can then easily transfer these domains to any website builder, set up an email at the domain to look all professional and stuff, and they also have phenomenal customer service. Best of all, by going to hover.com HAI and using the code HALF AS INTERESTING, you'll get 10% off your first order.